Hi everyone. Let us discuss this law of parallelogram. Okay. So this law says if you have two complex numbers z and w, then mod z plus w square plus mod z minus w square is nothing but two into mod z square plus mod w square. Okay. So we are going to discuss its proof. We will mainly focus on left hand side. We will try to find its value and finally we will bring right hand side. Okay. So let us start with the first term. Let me write here consider. So we'll consider mod z plus w square. Tell me, do you remember in previous video, we have already seen one result that is mod z square is equal to z into z bar. So let me use that result. So using that result, what can we write z plus w z plus w bar. So let me mention the result that result is mod z square is equal to z into z bar. So this is equal to z plus w, right? If addition, subtraction, division or multiplication there, and if there is bar, that means complex conjugate, we take separate, separate bar. I'm going to do the same. So that's why z bar plus w bar. Let us take product and let us find a value. So z into z bar, we can write plus w into z bar plus w uh, z into w bar plus w into w bar. So let me use this result again. Z into Z bar is nothing but mod Z square. So we can replace the first term by mod Z square, right? Let me write it as it is Z plus W bar and W into W bar is nothing but mod W square. Let me call it as one. So in this way, we found out the value of the first term. Okay. So let us focus on the second term. Now, what is second term? We have mod Z minus W square. Let me consider, consider mod z minus w square. See, I will do the same thing. See mod square, getting mod square, that is nothing but the uh, that term z minus w into its conjugate z minus w bar, same result I'm using. Okay. So let us go further. As I told you earlier, if minus sign is there, we can take separate, separate bar. So therefore z minus w into z bar minus w bar. Let us take the product and find a value z into z bar. We will have minus w into z bar, right? Minus z into w bar minus minus plus w into w bar. Same thing I will repeat here. Z into z bar is nothing but mod z square, right? Mod z square minus w z bar minus z w bar plus w into w bar. w into w bar is nothing but mod w square. So let me write mod w square. This is our equation number two. See, finally, what we want, we have to add these two terms. Okay. So first of all, we found out the value of the first term. After that, we work on a second term, right? In this way, we got two equations, one and two. So let me add these two equations now. Adding one and two. Adding one and two. So let us see what will we have. So mod z plus w square, we are adding it with mod z minus w square is equal to, let us add, okay, so uh, this is value of the first mod and this is value of the second mod. So mod z square plus mod z square, we will have two mod z square, agree? This plus w z bar minus w z bar will get cancelled to each other, okay? z w bar minus zw bar will get cancelled to each other mod w square plus mod w square that means we'll have plus two mod w square we can take two common so we'll have mod z square plus mod w square okay so in this way we prove this law okay the proof is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye